Hi everyone, welcome to uh, my newest video. It's actually been a while since I've done one uh, between moving and work and uh, coming out of COVID, haven't had time, but this is actually pretty neat. This just arrived the other day. It is the limited run games version of uh, Shredder's Revenge and uh, you know, a really neat package that they have, you know, pretty tight. Uh, this one is for the, uh, the Switch. I'll turn that around, it kind of gives you idea of some of the uh, the items that will be in here and then an overview on the back for those of you who have not played shredder's revenge i know it's been out for a while but i know uh you know some of you may have been holdouts this game is the ultimate love letter to the old ninja turtle games of the late 80s through the early 90s it definitely has uh a lot of the vibes, a lot of the DNA of the old uh, arcade games, the old SNES, Genesis, to a lesser extent, the, the NES games that were out at that time. Uh, you know, definitely drawing from that 87 animated series. It's a fantastic game. Um, honestly, it, it was one of my, uh, my favorite games of the last few years because it just sticks to what it knows very well. doesn't try to overstay its welcome or make itself something that it is not. And uh, the end result is uh, you know, a great game that takes some of the best elements of uh, the old um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games that you've played, but uh, you know uh, fixes some of the things that may have been frustrating back then. So looking at this box, obviously it has a little bit of a slipcase. Love the art on the front here. That is really cool, really neat. Um, definitely draws from, I'm getting vibes of the original... Uh, action figure lineup from Playmates. That's kind of what uh, what that gives me, that that style where it has a little bit of the underground feel from the original comics left in it, but, um, you know, very colorful, uh, you know, a, a very distinct art style for, for that period in time. So let's open it up. And this thing is, as you can see, crammed full of, uh, crammed full of goodies. So we'll just start from the front and try to work our way back. This is, the uh, steel case that came with this edition of it. Um, I'm a huge fan of steel cases just because uh, I just love the way they look. I love that, that kind of that matte glossy finish combination. You put the game right there, all things there. So this is, uh, you know, this is a neat way to potentially store your game outside the box. We have the soundtrack to Shredder's Revenge. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the game or for those of you who have, the soundtrack is, is awesome. Um, you know, Konami back in the day was known for having some really kicking soundtracks um, that were claimed on their own. Uh, in fact, Limited Run is going to be releasing a lot of the old Konami soundtracks uh, through 2023, maybe into 2024 for the uh, as we approach the 40th anniversary of uh, the Ninja Turtles. So this will fit in right alongside uh, those releases if you're looking to get them. I would highly recommend checking it out. The music alone just really captures the ambiance and feel of, uh, of what the designers and creators were going for with this game. So next up, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. It's almost amazing all the stuff that they managed to cram into, uh, into this. So this is uh, a mini arcade version of Shredder's Revenge. It does plug in. Uh, it plays a little video. It doesn't have uh, the full game on it, but it uh, you know when you plug it in, it 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 plays a video uh, of Shredder's Revenge. Um, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking to myself, you know, that might be a, a fun little accessory to put with the uh, the NECA Ninja Turtles, especially for those of you who uh, you know NECA just announced um, the uh, the release of the sewer diorama set, so that would probably fit in perfectly. In there if you're looking to build that out uh, as well so um, we have we were talking about that that art throwback style to the original action figures this is actually kind of cool it's a reinterpretation of the playmates 88 version of shredder um, a lot of the original art recreated but uh, what's neat about this is the the mask and some of the colors are a little bit different but yet it does have a throwback I don't know if you can see that uh, the original shredder uh, had eyebrows and skin painted onto the uh, the helmet portion of his uh, of of his outfit, so it gave him a little bit of a Neanderthal look. But uh, 
you know, uh, they, they've kind of blended a couple of different styles with that. Uh, looking in here, you have the, this is pretty neat. This is a 3D kind of diorama shadow box uh, layout that they have here. I'm um, using some of the art from the original game. Um, that's really neat. And it comes in a, uh, you know, pretty sturdy frame there as well. So this is, uh, you know, they didn't cheap out and, and go with like a cheap uh, paper or cardboard uh, frame on that. So that's that's pretty uh, pretty steady, as you can see. Um, looking at it as well in here, um, there is a lot in here, so just bear with me. This is pretty neat too. Um, you know, you could put the uh, the slip cases around the steel book if you want. They're designed to uh, you know, kind of look like the old '80s tapes for those of you who are. As old as me and remember what VHS tapes look like my kids are fascinated by them uh, they think they're the most amazing things and so that's pretty neat too so you have that um, you know just to kind of get that feel of a little bit of a VHS tape um, it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the old Nintendo or Super Nintendo boxes which were were also cardboard back in the day but um, but yeah this is definitely designed to be uh, an homage to the, uh, the VHS tapes and then uh, here is, of course, you know, the main event, the game itself uh, comes in its own package, which is pretty neat. It almost looks like the, uh, you know, the Playmates uh, version of, uh, of the figures uh, as well. And, uh, you know, so that's pretty neat. I mean, all this stuff is actually so neat. You almost hate to open it up because they just did such a fantastic job with the production here. Everything is, you know, high quality cardboard, uh, glossy print. Um, I mean, it looks like something that you would see, all of this looks like something that you would see on a store shelf. So none of this feels, uh, you know, crowdfunded or uh, like any shortcuts were taken. And then last, oh, not quite last, but at least this is a, a hardcover strategy guide. I actually wasn't expecting it to be hardcover. Um, you know, very much kind of the same covers that you would see with, uh, with certain strategy guides or uh, comic book collections. Um, this is pretty neat. Um, we'll kind of take you through that. It's essentially a printed version of uh, the strategy guide that is included with the game digitally. Lots of photos, lots of, of colors, art from the game, um, which is pretty neat. Um, again, because the art just itself is, is fantastic and, and very, very cool to look at. So um, this takes you through that uh, as well. Uh, again, glossy pages. You know, they didn't skimp on any of this. Um, you know, very, very well done. Um, you know, for those of you who who have already played the game or beat the game, it, it's not a terribly hard game at, at the lower difficulty level. So, you know, the strategy guide is just kind of more of, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, for background knowledge, you know, cool thing to have. It captures it all in, uh, in one place. Um, you actually have a pretty neat design here. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. I'll try to get into the light here. Um, Turtle Designs, again, from... The 87 series, things like that. Here, let me hold it up this way. That'll actually give you a better idea of what you're looking at. So that that's pretty neat. Again, they didn't they didn't skip on this, and this is not this is not a small book. Um, checks in about 150 pages. I mean, so that that's pretty that's pretty hefty. 150 page hardcover book, as you can see. Um, again, very good quality there, and then. Uh, Last but not least, I think this is the last thing in here because there's a heck of a whole lot crammed into this box. This is neat too. It is a poster that comes with it. Um, and uh, what's really neat about this, it is two-sided. So on the one side, you have the box art from this version. Again, capturing kind of that, that Playmates 88 series feel of, of the toys and things like that. Um, and then on the back, you have the actual cover art from the game. Both of them are fantastic, so you almost hate to pick one over the other, but um, believe it or not, I actually really, I really am digging this one. So uh, I think that might be what I end up, uh, you know, framing and, and putting up, because I think that, uh, that'll look great, uh, you know, if you're a collector like me and, uh, you know, you're looking to uh, add something unique to, to your display. So that is, uh, you know, the limited run, uh, you know, the, the crate version uh, in a nutshell. Um, the timing on this is really good because in the next couple of weeks, we actually have the first DLC for the game coming out with Usagi Yojimbo uh, and Karai. 
uh, which is pretty neat as well, the ability to play a Shredder. So they're going to add a, a whole nother dimension to what's already a, a fantastic game, honestly. A true love letter to the original games and something that any Ninja Turtle or, uh, you know, beat-em-up, side-scrolling fan, uh, old-school fan would be, uh, you know, excited to play. So looking forward to this, you know, go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section. And uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, I will be following up with, uh, uh, you know, more stuff as I get unpacked in my new house and show you some of the, the unique things that are in our collection. Some of them retail, some of them some retro things from 20 and 30 years ago. So stay tuned for more. Thanks.